God exalts them and shows much favor over them. And quite the contrary of those who function in pride. See, they <coughs> tend to cause deception and dissensions in the church. And God definitely does not like that. Amen? Verse 6 there says, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Jesus. We almost done, y'all. You want to win favor from the Lord? I just gave you a secret. A top secret. Verse 6. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may do what? Somebody read that next scripture. Say again, that he may do what? You he prayer. may do what? <laughs> Come on, church. I need y'all to say it. All of us. That he may do what? Exalt you. Exalt you. Do you know what that word means? Raise you up. You humble yourself to God. Lord, I know I ain't got this. I need help. And he said, guess what, son? Guess what, daughter? Now I can exalt you. Because you done finally figured it out. You need some help. Mama can't help you, daddy can't help you, cousin can't help you, nobody can't, but I can help you. Amen. And I can open doors no man can shut. Yes, I can shut some doors that can't nobody ever bring back up again. Okay? See, we, we need to understand that he will exalt you in due time. Wait on Jesus. Quit trying to function in something God isn't ready to give you just yet. See, a lot of times we want it right now. I need it now. Got to have it now. And the Lord is saying, it's yours, but you ain't ready for it. See, because if I give you this now, you're going to mess it up. And then you're going to mess it up and then you're going to get frustrated. And you're going to go way back to the end of the line. Because now you got to go through all these steps again to get back where you was because you're trying to rush this thing. And I'm trying to teach you some very important lessons throughout your little walk that are life learning, life sustaining and lifetime use. But you want to jump from the end of the line to the front of the line. Like when we live and we die. When you look at somebody's tombstone, they live from 1968 dash 2025. What happened in that dash? What did that dash consist of? Right? What did you do? Okay, you, you was born, you died. What, what was in the middle of that? You can't go from the back of the line to the front of the line. You got to take the proper steps, okay? You got to go through the process. And you got to go through it and understand that there is automatically a mutual opposition between you and God. Pride. And the enemy operates off of that. See, he don't want you to get it, all right? He don't want you to understand that. We can't hold on to our fears, our doubts, our worries, or our anxieties any longer. I need y'all to get rid of it. Whatever's worrying you, whatever's troubling you, Lord, I just, here you go. Soon as it pop back up, well, you know you can't pay that bill. Well, you know you got this sickness. Well, you know she ain't, look, the devil's a lie. Our Lord, 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 I gave it to you. <laughs> You said, give it to you. Here you go. You said, cast my cares on you. You'll give me what? Rest. I'm not resting if I'm still thinking about this. So as soon as it pops up, guess what? I got to get this back to you, Jesus. Take it, take it, take it. I'm not going to let you play with my mind today, uh, Satan. <laughs> not today. Here you go, Lord. You said, give it to you, and you'll give me rest. Cast your cares on him. This is what separates the sheep from the goats. We trust our father. We have faith in our father. We have the faith of a little mustard seed. And we believe that our father will 
will set us free from our uh, 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 worries, our fears, that he's going to separate us from any type of bondage, any generational curses. We have been given favor by humbling ourselves under the hand of God. Okay? What demon, what sorcerer, what dust blower, what generational curse, what addiction, what bondage, what ailment, what sickness, what fear, what mental disease. The devil is a liar. I cast it on you, Lord, because you said in all things you want us to prosper. Our health, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, financial, and in all things I want your soul to prosper. Amen. You ain't supposed to be locked up in your mind. Running around, upset, worried. See, sin leads to sickness and sickness unto what? Death. Spiritual death. And physical death sometimes. He don't want you to break free. And guess what? Your pride is what keeps you from breaking free. Because once you realize, I need help, I'm vulnerable, Lord. I'm transparent, Lord. The devil says, she done took that fig leaf off. Here I am naked, Lord. And what was the first thing he had Eve and Adam do? Cover up. Let me hide behind something. The devil been studying us for years. Years and years and years and years. But the Lord says, I'm giving you the top secret code to how to get out of this. Humility. Okay. He wants to take you right now under his hand and exalt you to the next step. He wants you to have deliverance, exaltation. He wants to help you understand why you've been chastised. How many of you feel like you've been going through unnecessary situations? How many of you understand that you've been having a hard life? You've been chastised. He keeps us in constant turmoil. Storm after storm after storm after storm. But you know what that tells you? I'm going to stay in God's face and I'm going to repent. I'm going to pray and I'm going to keep seeking God no matter what. The situation is at that time. I could care less about all this chaos going on around me. I'm going to be on watch. When it comes at me, I'm a watch. I'm going to say, oh, here we go again. Lord, Satan thinks he's slick. Yes. He thought he was going to take me out with that little Cushman. But you going to cover me and keep me and protect me. Satan, I could, you could have really messed my day up. <laughs> But I gave God the glory and I said, you know what, Lord? He mad at me. And I realized just that quick, as soon as, as soon as I calmed down, I said, I got hit because of what I did the night before. Help somebody break a demon off of them. Okay? So you're mad. You keep being mad, Satan. Because, see, God is about to take me somewhere that you ain't going to be able to touch me. He ain't going to be able to get to me no more. God is going to be like, oh, she got this. She can handle that storm. She ain't going to worry about it. Because I'm going to do her just like I did Job. Double portion of everything. Amen? Amen. He wants, he, he, he's walking around, y'all. So imagine that. Put on your sanctified mind and imagine there's a lion and there's demons that are all around you. And they just wait for you to have a weak moment, a weak thought, a weak action, a weak reaction. Bam! Let me jump on them. Now I got you. Okay? They waiting to strike. They waiting to devour. They're ready to eat you alive. And see, Peter knew that Christians were under very difficult circumstances. And he's now giving them instructions. Give it all to the Lord. And we're about to close with this last little part. Resist him. Resist who? The devil. Steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Meaning, 
What you going through is somebody else going through the same exact thing. But may the God of all grace who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after you have suffered a while perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be all the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. I need y'all to walk out of here today understanding that everything you've been going through is because of what I'm telling you right now. You walk out of here and understand that you are now going to walk in humility and resist the tests and the storms. And you're not going to allow them to destroy your relationship with Christ. But always being mindful that your fellow brethren are suffering the same things as you. And that the devil is going to constantly be trying to trick you into believing that you're all alone in your struggles. But Peter is conforming that other faithful stewards of Christ go through the same thing. And despite what Satan, Satan is plotting and planning against you, the, 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 the God has already got you. He's called you into his eternal graces. You have suffered. Okay? But he's saying after you suffered for a while... He's going to perfect you, establish you, strengthen you, and settle you. You would suffer a little while. And I, I told you, the year of Jubilee, the shifting in the atmosphere, those that have been suffering, some of you seven years, some of you 14 years, this is your season. Amen? This is your season. Okay? Don't focus on the distractions of Satan because... I can guarantee you it is a promise that God is getting ready to bless you with something. Okay? Allow the word of God to feed you. Let it be the nutrients to sustain you through the attacks that you will come and, 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 and keep going into the midst of the Lord. You need to understand that I am called today to set an example to all those around me watching me, including Satan. Are you guys ready to go to the next step towards the Lord? Do you really understand that your humility or your pride is what's going to exalt you or hinder you? That's it. That's all. And God just gave you a key answer. Walk in humility and watch me exalt you. Don't let Satan, Satan think he got you because he don't. All the stuff that's going on, the minute and second you deny what he's doing in your life and you don't give him the energy, watch God move. Your situation will change in a minute. So I want to open up the altar and I want to let you know that you can take this day right now and go into your future. That this day will be the day that changes your life forever. Amen? Amen. So will you walk in humility? Amen. The altar is open. Amen. Hallelujah.